The Montana East West Shrine game is extremely special to the treasure state and has become the top shrine game in the country, raising nearly $1 million for the Shriners Hospital in Spokane. Earlier this week, the highly anticipated rosters were released and the top football talents in Montana found out if they were headed to the big game. And here's how some reacted to seeing their name on the list. First and 10, deep ball, Nors line, got his man. Ryder Meyer, wow! The 74th annual Montana East West Shrine game is now officially set for Billings in July. Every year, the rosters get released at midnight on Christmas Day. While some who made the team stay up till 12 a.m. like Butte Central's Guido Acello and Thomas McGree, a handful of other Shriners didn't even know they had a special gift waiting. I actually w woke up and checked my phone and saw I had a couple texts and I was like, I was kind of confused at first and then I pulled up the article and found out and that was pretty surprising and I was pretty excited to hear the news. I did not know when they were getting released and I just woke up and I looked I checked the paper and my name was in it. A good friend, Caden Gardner, he texted me and said congratulations and actually had no idea what he was talking about. So that was, that was kind of a good, you know, uh, present for Christmas morning. To be named to the Shrine game is the culmination of a lifetime of dedication to football. It just shows how hard we work and how much time we put into the game and how much we love the game. My brother played in the Shrine game and I just wanted to, you know, keep the tradition going kind of and I was really I was really hoping I'd make it so I'm really happy that I did. But great athletes realize this is something they couldn't have achieved on their own. I'd like to thank coach Carter linebacker coach he helped me a lot and then the whole coaching staff at Capitol for sure. I'd like to thank coach Mahelish and coach Cockill. Cockill every day would push me to be the best I can and I wouldn't be here without him. And to be one of only a handful of Montana athletes selected to put on the pads one last time in high school is something special. Um, it's a big honor. I mean, I grew up watching it all the time, and it's just a great honor to be able to be able to represent your town and your school in that big scale of the game. So that'll be exciting. You know, I'm excited to be able to you know lace the lace the cleats up one more time, and uh, looking forward to it. Those are the guys that I'll get to play with again. Um, so many amazing memories with them and getting to go on the field with them one more time, it's going to be unbelievable.